Hey, what is going on guys? Rudelanel here, coming back at you with more Python code, and we're looking at GTK. Alright, now in the last video, we were setting a button, actually two buttons, and we were putting them in a specific place on our window, in on the screen. We were using coordinates, uh, actually 20, 30, and uh, 20, 60, to display them at a position in our window, right here. And now that that's all over with, I want to introduce to you guys a different way of displaying widgets or like entities in your window. So, I want to explain to you guys packing elements, specifically boxes. Now, GTK has these cool, cool things called boxes, and what they do um, is they allow you to put multiple widgets all together like sort of a cluster and they all go in a specific direction or at least in this case with horizontal boxes and vertical boxes so I'm gonna set one up I'm just gonna call mine horizontal box and I'll set that equal to GTK dot H box now H is capital as usual because it's the first uh, letter of the GTK widget and box the B in box is also capitalized so uh, I'm not going to pass any parameters into that. I don't know for sure just yet if there is anything we can put in there, but uh, we're going to leave it empty right now for our purposes. I'm going to keep these button objects because we're actually going to put both of those inside of the box, and uh, we don't need to put anything in the fixed object because we just got rid of that. So uh, let's say self.horizontalbox. Now that we actually have the entity or the widget created, we actually want to put stuff in it. So let's put the button object and a button object 2 and let's pack them into the box. So self.horizontal box, we can use a function called pack underscore start. And you can pass in a bunch of different um, arguments and parameters to this function, but to keep it really simple right now, for when I'm introducing this topic to you guys, we're only going to pass in the actual uh, widget that we're going to be adding to the box. So let's go ahead and add the button object right in there. And instead of the fix object in, in our window added to the Windows container, we're going to just want to go ahead and use the um, horizontal box that we have set up. Now if I run this, you can see there's our button and it says subscribe, uh, just like it kind of almost did earlier because there's nothing else inside our window. I'm going to close out of this though, and now I want to add button object 2. So we can use pack start again. I'm just going to copy and paste this, and instead of passing in button object, I'm going to pass in button object underscore 2. Now if I run this, you can see we have like a horizontal sort of like dual setup here. There are two objects inside this box, and it's spread out horizontally. We have our subscribe button, and we have our please button. Okay, that's really cool. We can add as many of these things as we would like. We can uh, create more buttons if we wanted to. Button 3, and we could just go ahead and pack those in with the same functionality. You can do this with as many widgets as you want to. Now, there isn't only the horizontal box. There is, of course, a vertical box. So I'm going to set that up to um, change all of the variables that I have right here. And instead of passing in, or at least calling... GTK HBox, I'm sure you guys can guess, we're going to be using GTK VBox. Now if I run this, boom! Our, button, our buttons are displayed vertically, and we can pass uh, as many buttons or as many GTK widgets in there as we would like. It's a cool, uh, kind of quick and easy way to set things up, and it looks good for sure, but we don't have as much functionality with this right now. If I were to resize this, you can see that the window is going to keep that box display. But sometimes, just for like aesthetics reasons, we might want to set something like an, a text box all the way at the bottom of the window, but we don't really want that to be spread out across the entire half of the freaking window. So there are things like padding and like homogeneous um, spacing, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> I, I need to refresh myself, but we do have some options with how we want to pack start and add things into our boxes. Alright, we're going to be getting into those very, very soon, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, we'll be getting into some more cool stuff very, very soon. If you liked the video, please like the video. Uh, maybe leave me a comment, let me know what you're thinking, and if you're feeling generous, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.